As a wildlife photographer, the most important thing to me is my lens. However, in Africa, the second most important thing is my safari vehicle behind me. And I'm gonna walk you through what we do differently. Check it out. We all know the best photography when it comes to wildlife is being eye level with your animals. And the only way to do that is to be as low as possible and we achieve that by removing the doors. What do you think? In this example, the image on the left was taken from a typical safari vehicle and you can see that the focus is more on the top of the cheetah's head, whereas the image on the right was taken by getting as low as possible with the door removed and you can really see all the detail in the animal's eyes. No matter what you're shooting with, you want to be able to see what you're shooting and take a look. No windows, no restrictions. I can look to my left, I can look to my right. If I need to, I can get low. And if we absolutely need to, we can open up the roof and get way up high to shoot some birds if we need to. So at this point, you're probably wondering, what's the difference between your vehicle and a typical open safari vehicle? Well, the fact that we remove the doors lets you get even lower than you would on a normal open vehicle, at least a good two feet lower, and that allows you to get eye level with a lot of different subjects such as cheetahs, jackals, and many other smaller animals that you find out on safari. In addition, we also remove several seats, giving you extra space to move around as well as access to different cameras and lenses that you may have. So for a unique experience, book your next safari with us. Check out rfri.com for more information.